Well, I don't think there is any 20th century music beyond beyond the 1920s without the blues, really, because it's been present in everything since then. Whether we like it or not, or whether you're aware of it or not, all music since that time has been influenced by, by the blues. So how important is the blues? It's, it's almost beyond the, the remit of that question. It's like, it's, it's everything. Yeah, Muddy would do kind of like a, it was real kind of, uh, kind of low gritty riffs. <laughs> really kind of came from Robert Johnson I think but what Muddy did because obviously when we're, we're not in the Delta anymore we're, we're in uh, Chicago in the 1950s so we've got electricity so all of the, the Robert Johnson kind of approach is then adapted for electric guitar so I think that's where Muddy's sound really made a big kind of change in, in the music of that time. BB King everyone talks about BB King, King's the vibrato uh, they always say you can hear it's a very it's a cliche but one note from BB King You just hold that root note and just shake it for all it's worth and it's like the expression of a human voice. It's a bit like a kind of opera singer. He played a lot of single notes, didn't play many chords. He had a huge band behind him with horn section. He didn't really need to play chords. Just had that vocal quality. He would sing a line and then he would play a solo and then sing again. It was all, all singing, BB King, I think. Clapton would take like a kind of simple phrase and kind of just slightly change it, just slightly twist something, just to make it a little bit more individual. I don't know if that was a conscious thing on his part, but as I was saying to you earlier, there's this phrase that you hear coming up on him. That phrase there, I mean, I've never heard anyone do that before or anything like it. And I think that what he did was take quite a simple blues phrase and just put that kind of, put the major note in there. And then this classic uh, Claptonism, you know, um, so I think his phrasing is uh, the thing that makes him stand out. Brian May once said about Eric Clapton that his fingers are wired to his soul, and I think that I think that's true of all great blues players actually, but particularly with Clapton, it feels so spontaneous and so in the moment when you listen to him, it just kind of, um, you feel like you're hanging on to every word that he's saying. I'm just going to go in there with an open heart and an open mind, with curiosity and passion, and I know that there are people out there all over the world that feel the same way about music, and that's what makes people connect. Music is such a powerful force. Um, it's the most powerful force I've ever come across in my, in my, in my life. And it, things can happen, where, especially when you get music, musicians together and people that love music. Things can happen that you can't predict, and it'd be silly to try and predict. Mm -hmm.